Welcome to the Plain Content File Production Data Importing Video, part of the Introduction to IHS Harmony video series. This video will introduce the Plain Content File type, demonstrate importing a Plain Content File into IHS Harmony, and discuss the data importing options with regards Plain Content Files. A Plain Content File is a file that contains data in a columnar format. Harmony is not able to automatically identify the various data types contained within this file, and it requires that during the import, you identify each column of data to be imported. These plain content files are used to import production and attribute data into a Harmony project. Common file formats include text, comma-separated values, which is a common Excel output, and Excel workbooks. Any application capable of outputting to these file types can be used as a source for this data, including IHS Accumap and IHS Enerdeck. I'm going to begin with a new Harmony project. You can import a plain content file by selecting one of the two import buttons in the toolbar, or by accessing the same commands from the File menu under the Import dropdown. You have the option to import the file as normal, or you can import the file as a group. The only difference between these two modes is that importing the file as a group will create a custom group with the name of the imported file that contains the wells from this import. I'm going to demonstrate both of these import modes. First, selecting the file import mode. You will be prompted to select the file for import. In this case, I'm going to import a CSV file, which is a common Excel file format. The file contains multiple well entities with production data. Next you'll need to supply the data type, and for this case, it is production. The Import Data dialog window will open. This window consists of an upper section, which is a table of your data to be imported, and a bottom section, which is a plot of this data. Data for multiple well entities can be contained in a single file in one of two formats. One of the options is to have multiple sheets of data in the same file where each sheet contains a single well's data. And the other format option is that of this file, where the well entity data is stacked vertically on top of each other, and the same columns are utilized for all of the wells. In this import dialog box, you are required to identify the column headers for the data you want to import. The data category, the data type, and finally, the units. We have a data set in the import file, choke size, that doesn't have a corresponding storage location in Harmony. A custom data set will have to be created in Harmony to be able to import this data. I will discuss this before the next import demonstration. Take note of the import start and end rows, denoted with the up and down arrows. These identify the rows to be imported. They can be adjusted by clicking on the arrow button and moving it, or right-clicking on the row and setting it. When the import file contains multiple wells on a single sheet, as this data is, there is the option to separate this data so that each well entity's data is contained on a single sheet. Selecting Separate, we will see that our original data has been separated into multiple sheets, each containing a well entity. And now that I have selected an individual well entity's data, you can see the data being plotted. The import dialog box also contains importing options. Of particular interest are the atmospheric pressure and standard conditions, as well as those options under Format. These will save the header information so you do not have to populate it in the future. By default, Harmony will save the column header format for this specific file. But you can also extend this so that all plain content files 
importing production will automatically be populated with these column headers. Selecting OK will finish the import. You'll be given another window where you have the ability to manually filter the wells to be imported by deselecting them from this list. I'm going to import all of these wells by selecting Finish. You can now see that these well entities have been imported and populated into the Hierarchy Entity Viewer. Selecting one, you can verify with the diagnostics plot that the production data has been imported. Now I'm going to demonstrate importing a file as a group. I will import the same well entities, but contained in a different format, where each well entity's data is contained on a single sheet within the file. But first, I'm going to create a custom data set, so I can import the choke size data that we were not able to in the previous import. The Create Custom Dataset dialog window can be accessed from the production editor of any well. Launching a well to navigate to the production editor, and selecting the plus button in the editor toolbar will open the Create Custom Dataset dialog window. This window is used to create a custom dataset. I'm going to fill in the required information. The name, the unit type, this is related to the type of data it will hold, and the default unit to be used. The location refers to the category under which the dataset will be held within the dataset tree, which is shown to the left of the table. And lastly, the type. The input type is used for data storage, while the calculated type contains a formula that generates a result. A typical example of a calculated dataset is barrels of oil equivalent. Since we are looking to store the choke size data, we will select input. This data set will now be accessible for importing. To import a file as a group, select the Import File as a Group command and select the file for import. You can see that this time, the Import Data dialog window is showing multiple sheets, one per well entity. Again, you'll need to identify the column headers in the Import Data dialog box, but in this case, you do not need to identify the well identifier. This value is pulled from the sheet name. To identify the choke size dataset, the custom dataset we created is available under the Custom Dataset field. After identifying the column headers on the first sheet, you will want to apply the same headers to the other sheets in the file. This can be done by selecting the Apply To command while the sheet with the column headers identified is selected. Selecting OK and choosing not to filter our list, click Finish. Because we have some well entities existing in our project from the previous import, it is possible to link the imported data to these wells. I want to link these wells manually because I know they are the same wells. By default, Harmony will automatically link well entities if they contain the same name or unique well identifier. In this case, the names are slightly different. One set is capitalized while the other is not, and therefore the software is not able to link them. The mapping window has a plotting function that is useful to help link well entities together by looking for duplicate overlaying data. If I select one of the imported wells, you can see that its data is shown in red in the plot below. Selecting an existing well will show that well's data in black on the same plot. So using the name or the plot as a guide, you can identify common wells to link. By linking or mapping well entities, the incoming data will be populated into the existing well, instead of creating a new unique entity. After linking the remaining wells, selecting OK will finish the import. You can see now that a custom group has been created with the name of the Excel file. 
Lastly, there are options related to file importing, which can be accessed from the cog button in the toolbar or from the tools dropdown under options. The import category has options for handling null, empty, or missing data, as well as the option to force the imported well linking dialog to display on every import. Under updating data is the option for handling existing data in the project. It can either be protected and only new data be allowed, or it can be open to overwriting. Harmony also has a data reduction tool. This is automatically activated when importing a file that contains more than 5,000 rows of data, but this threshold can be changed here. This concludes the Plain Content File Production Data Importing video, which introduced the Plain Content File type, demonstrated how to import production data into Harmony with this file type, and discussed the software options related to importing production data with a plain content file.